Welcome to the training module describing the GigaView HC Series Visibility Platform Nodes. This module explores the GigaView HC Series Visibility Platform Nodes. After completing this module, you will be able to understand how the GigaView HC Series Nodes fit into the Gigamon Data in Motion Visibility Platform Portfolio. Describe the chassis and available modules for the GigaView HC Series Nodes. List the access methods for configuring a GigaView HC Series Node Understand how the GigaView HC series nodes provides traffic visibility in support of the GigaSecure security delivery platform. The Gigamon Data in Motion visibility platforms provide pervasive visibility across physical, virtual, remote sites, and future SDN NFV production networks. Development is always busy with new modules and technologies to address present and future needs as your network grows and evolves. The GigaView HC series nodes are the most flexible visibility platform nodes in the hardware suite, offering internal taps, various port modules, the GigaSmart feature suite, and even inline bypass. The GigaView OS drives fundamental fabric services such as flow mapping, clustering, and inline bypass. Traffic intelligence is powered by GigaSmart technology, which provides stateful and packet level optimization and normalization functions. GigaView Fabric Manager provides centralized management and a common policy framework for the entire visibility fabric. Fabric Manager also enables software-defined visibility for programmability, automation, and tool integration through an open, extensible framework. The GigaView HC series consists of the GigaView HC1 and the GigaView HC2. The GigaView HC2 is a modular chassis that provides all the functionality required of a security delivery platform. The four modules in the front provide unprecedented flexibility and customization, allowing the GigaView HC2 to fit into unlimited use cases and deployment scenarios. The GigaView HC2 has the following key features. Density. In only two RU, the GigaView HC2 provides support for up to 96 10 gigabit ports. The GigaView HC2 fits into server closets where space is limited, but monitoring density is still required. Modularity. There are four module bays on the front of the GigaView HC2, as well as an additional bay on the rear, which may be used for the rear GigaSmart module. The GigaView HC2 supports a selection of port modules and GigaSmart, as well as a series of internal tap modules and inline bypass capabilities. Since the GigaView HC2 is a modular system, any future modules which become available can be used in any existing GigaView HC2 deployment. Flexibility. The front module bays support any combination of optional monitor port, tap, and inline bypass modules. The GigaView HC2 also offers hot swappable AC and DC supplies for even more flexibility. Because there are monitor ports on the front GigaSmart modules, all module bays can be used for GigaSmart modules in order to achieve maximum packet transformation support. The front of the 2RU chassis shows the front-to-back airflow design as well as four modular bays where you can mix and match any combination of port, tap, GigaSmart, and bypass modules. The optional modules provide support for copper and fiber, as well as Ethernet speeds from 1 gigabit to 100 gigabit. On the left side are ports for node management, stacking, and a future time synchronization input. In back are the redundant, load-sharing, hot-swappable power supplies and a rear fan module. And we have an additional rear GigaSmart module. Behind the hot swappable fan module is a removable control module. The front of the 2RU chassis also shows the field replaceable control card at version 2 or CCV2. The CCV2 card, as well as the internal control card at version 1 or CCV1, is the heart of the GigaView HC2, providing both processing and switching fabric resources, as well as user access to the CLI via the management and console ports. The CCV2 card enables support for all the existing modules, as well as the new PRT-HC0-C02 module. This module provides two 100 gigabit QSFP28 ports, supporting 100 gigabit monitoring and aggregation. The 100 gigabit ports on this module can be used as network or tool ports. This module is installed in the front module bays of the GigaView HC2. Note that this module can only be used on a GigaView HC2 node equipped with the CCV2 control card. The maximum number of 100 gigabit modules is 4, which allows the HC2 support for up to 8 100 gigabit ports. 
The ports on this module can be used as either network or inline tool ports, supporting 100 gigabit logical bypass. For more information regarding the control card upgrade from CCV1 to CCV2, refer to the GigaView HC series hardware installation guide. The easily reconfigurable GigaView HC2 supports hot swappable port modules for 1 gigabit, 10 gigabit, 40 gigabit, and 100 gigabit links, accepting all standard Gigamon SFP, SFP+, QSFP+, and QSFP28 transceivers, including direct attach copper, active fiber cables, SR, LR, ER, and BiDi. The 100 gigabit module accepts two QSFP28 transceiver modules supporting SR4 links. The next module is a 6x40 gigabit Ethernet module supporting QSFP Plus transceiver modules. The third general purpose module is a 24x10 gigabit module. Each of the ports shown for 100 gigabit, 40 gigabit, and 10 gigabit, as well as the 10 gigabit ports on the Gigasmart module and the SFP Plus ports on the Combo Inline Bypass module, can be used for network ingress, for tool egress, logical inline bypass, or for stacking ports. Gigamon does not restrict the ways in which you can choose to use these ports. Additionally, all of the GigaView HC2 10 gigabit SFP Plus ports also support 1 gigabit SFP transceiver modules. There are three inline bypass switch modules supporting 1 or 10 gigabit multi-mode or single mode inline bypass links. Each module has eight protected inline bypass ports providing fail-safe support for four inline links plus 16 additional 1 gigabit SFP or 10 gigabit SFP plus ports for unrestricted monitoring, tool, logical inline bypass, or stacking use. A 1 gigabit internal copper tap module provides access to 12 monitored links through RJ45 Ethernet cables. The copper tap module also supports inline bypass functionality on a per-link basis, so that you can configure 12 taps, 12 protected inline bypass links, or a combination of tap and inline bypass. Additional internal tap modules support both multi-mode and single-mode 10 gigabit links, allowing for access to traffic on up to 12 monitored links while simultaneously eliminating a lot of cable in the rack. There are two Gigasmart modules. The first is a 16 by 10 gigabit SFP Plus module with 40 gigabit of Gigasmart functionality. A GigaView HC2 will support up to four Gigasmart front modules simultaneously. Each of the ports may be used for any normal visibility fabric function. The rear Gigasmart module also provides 40 gigabit of Gigasmart functionality, but has no additional ports. Together, system fully populated with Gigasmart modules supports up to 200 gigabit of Gigasmart functionality and has 64 multipurpose ports. The GigaView HC1 is a multi-purpose GigaView H-Series visibility platform node designed specifically for small enterprises and remote sites. The GigaView HC1 has the following key features. The 1RU chassis provides the following fixed ports, 12 10 gigabit, 1 gigabit SPF plus network ports, and 4 10, 100, 1000 megabit RJ45 copper ports. Like the larger GigaView HC2, the GigaView HC1 is also a modular chassis, with two slots for copper tap modules that can be enabled as network ports. Future releases of the GigaView HC1 will support additional modules. GigaSmart is built into the chassis, and the additional licenses can be purchased separately. The GigaView HC1 also supports downloading a software image via a USB port on the front of the chassis. Embedded taps for copper or fiber network links not only save cost and space by eliminating the need for external taps, but also keeps data secure because the copied traffic is sent directly to the chassis backplane without an external jumper. The HC series shares a common architecture. Inline bypass protection enables the deployment of inline security solutions such as intrusion prevention, advanced threat protection, and others. Inline tools can be deployed in serial or parallel one-to-many or many-to-one. A GigaView HC series node will monitor the health of inline tools and bypass tools that fail or go out of service. Fail-to-wire protection ensures that network continuity is maintained in the event of power failure. In addition, the GigaView HC1 can participate in clustering as a full member of the GigaView H series product family. The front of the GigaView HC1 1RU chassis shows the base chassis, 
the fixed management and control ports as well as the USB port. The two modular bays are also shown. Note that the GigaView HC1 supported modules are not interchangeable with the GigaView HC2 supported modules. In back are the redundant, load-sharing, hot-swappable power supplies and a rear fan tray, as well as the ground connector and future time synchronization inputs. The TAP HC1 G10040 module provides four 1 gigabit copper TAP connections to be used as network ports. This module has eight ports, enabling four TAPs. Each port pair is arranged with one port above the other, providing bidirectional traffic flow between two nodes. These ports can be configured as inline network ports, allowing this module to act as a copper bypass module, providing protected inline networks for copper ports. The GigaView HC series nodes can be configured and controlled through the following interfaces. The command line interface, or CLI, is accessed through an SSH or Telnet session on the Ethernet management interface, or via the RS-232 serial console. The console session supports scripting, too. The Ethernet management interface on a single node may also be accessed using HTTP or HTTPS from a web browser, where the HView graphical user interface is presented. The preferred interface is the GigaView FM, or Fabric Manager platform, which is able to provide configuration services, as well as asset management and upgrade services, and even various reports, alerts, and graphs for physical and virtual GigaView nodes and clusters. When automated changes are desired, REST APIs accessible through GigaView FM can be used to programmatically update node configurations in order to automatically react to changing network conditions. Deploying security tools to address present and future threats can be problematic. There are multiple points of failure, traffic bottlenecks, and scalability challenge. To address these challenges, the GigaView HC series nodes host key features in support of the GigaSecure Security Delivery Platform, the industry's first security delivery platform. Examples include NetFlow generation, application session filtering, SSL decryption, and inline bypass. Refer to the GigaSecure training module available in the GigaTech training series for more information about GigaSecure. Additional details can be found in the inline bypass, GigaView FM, and GigaSecure training modules, user guides, the GigaView HC series installation guide, and product data sheets. This module explored the GigaView HC series visibility platform nodes. After completing this module, you are now able to understand how the GigaView HC series nodes fit into the Gigamon Data in Motion visibility platform portfolio. Describe the chassis and available modules for the GigaView HC series nodes. List the access methods for configuring a GigaView HC series node. Understand how the GigaView HC series nodes provides traffic visibility in support of the GigaSecure security delivery platform. This completes the GigaView HC product family training module. Thank you.